Hi, my name is Lori Gilbert and I like to paint and um, I've always been really inspired by nature. So recently I've actually been developing a body of work of waves and surf inspired themed art. So I got started into painting actually about five years ago. I was a programmer and a graphic designer and so I transferred from schools from New York to Cal State Long Beach. And it was funny, I still remember talking to my mom about this. It was a classic, they lost my transcripts, I couldn't get into any classes I wanted. So instead of programming, I got into studio art and had to take an intro to painting class. I remember talking to my mom about having to take this class and I literally was crying saying, who paints anymore? No one does anything with that. And so I took this one class and just, I can't really explain it, but I, you know, if you've ever done something that's truly your passion, when I did it, I just felt so peaceful. So after that, I was so passionate about painting. I actually quit school and was self-taught after that. In about four years, I've done almost 300 paintings because I just wanted to learn as much as I can and challenge myself and produce, and it became this really positive addiction. And thankfully, now it's my profession. Everyone gets down about social media and how it creates disconnects and kids don't leave the house. But for me, you know, I have all these friends from Southern California growing up here who would take their GoPros out into the water and take these incredible shots. So one of these days I was just looking through my Instagram feed and a buddy of mine, Robbie Crawford, who does brilliant work, um, I saw one of his waves. I was like, wow, that would be a really interesting painting. Just the way the light refracts on the water and was the splice it really gave you the feeling like you're inside the barrels unlike anything I've ever seen so that's kind of how I started going into painting waves and water well and since then I have really networked with an amazing community of surf artists uh, my brother-in-law Eric Johnson goes out every single morning takes these beautiful shots and I get to wake up to all these people in my feet and I always get inspired by their own passions and my buddy Jeff Davis, who I'm uh, collaborating with, has just this insatiable appetite. Every single morning he's out in those waves, getting a pounding, he comes home, sends me these amazing shots. He's like, oh, I think this would be a sick painting, what do you think? And you know, it's really cool to just share these things with all these random people that I would have never met before, but we just have this underlying passion for the water and how it makes us feel, it charges us. And I think everyone have this idea that artists have to create this environment. And honestly, I can paint anywhere. I just, I have a method throughout my daily activities because I'm a really intense person, anyone who knows me. So I literally get up, I have my routine, I eat the same things, I work out, lift weights for an hour and a half, completely exhaust myself, and then come back because I've realized with myself that the more free I am and the less I'm thinking about what I'm doing, uh, I actually paint better. So when I'm completely exhausted, I come back and I just sit, put my music on, put what I'm painting in front of me and it just floats out of me. That's when your artistic freedom really comes and I thrive off of that. And I found a way to be able to get in that space every single day by structuring myself the way I have. Everyone knows that feeling when they sit above a body of water, whether it's a lake, an ocean, they just get this really amazing sense of serenity. And I thought it was a really beautiful thing, whether you're a surfer or anyone else, you can appreciate this body of work. And I thought it was a really beautiful concept that I could paint something that people could put in their houses and they could come home and get that feeling from it. So you had an awful day, you wake up on the wrong side of bed, you didn't sleep, your kids are crying and you can walk in your living room and you have this piece that might be able to kind of ground you a little bit and center yourself in the middle of your day. So it really inspired me to focus on that. I guess what really is the best thing that drives me is when I hear that I inspire people because I really believe that everyone is an artist and it's really important that people embrace it, whether they're a chef or a painter or even an entrepreneur that creates a business model artistically. I think it's really important that people utilize that side of themselves. It's what makes you feel alive. and. I think it's amazing that people follow me on social media and they send me a message saying that they're so motivated to pick up a brush again or they're motivated to start knitting again. Anything that makes them creative and alive again, it's a beautiful thing that I feel like I can motivate people to do that. One of the things I'm actually really excited about coming up is April 12th at the Boathouse Collective. I'm going to have my first big solo show with these body worker waves. I'm bringing uh, one of my favorite photographers, Jeff Davis, along. It's gonna be an amazing event and I really feel like all these people have been really helping me along the way. I get 
amazing support and that's the beautiful part again about social media is that I have all this encouragement from my family, my friends, and it just makes me want to keep doing bigger and better things. And so the show coming up on April 12th, Western Digital is actually sponsoring Flying in a Band and I just think it's going to be amazing. It'll bring all these amazing people together from Newport Beach and there's someone even driving down from Northern California to come check out my work and meet all these people in person. So it should be a great time. Hopefully you got a good gauge of how I got started, where I'm going, what I like to do, what inspires me. And really at the end of the day, I'm just stoked that I get to paint every single day.